What's up, everybody? For the Winitachi here, you know what it is, and thank you very much for tuning in. BlizzCon 2016 has just finished. Uh, it was November 4th and 5th, and again, I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. We are going to be covering up all the details on every Blizzard game from Diablo, StarCraft, Heroes of the Storm, Hearthstone, Overwatch, and World of Warcraft, and giving you all the details on what occurred and what is brand new to the upcoming future of these games. So and today we're going to be going over, or in this video, we're going to be going over Hearthstone, and we've got the Mean Streets of Gadget Zam, which is going to be a new expansion. So first of all, let's go ahead and check out the trailer, check out a little bit of gameplay, and then we'll dive on into the details of this expansion itself. Blizzard Entertainment. They always have a weird cinematic ah, Gadgetzan, the city of opportunity. Wait. This sounds like freaking fairy on parents. Whoa! Whoa! Is this the fairy on parents theme song or what? That's all I can think of right now. Wow. Welcome to the big time, I, I I find this very funny. I find this funny. Boom! Now who's got the upper hand? The fairy out parents too. <laughs> Alright, let's get into the gameplay and what it looks like. We get to see Kazakus, which is one of the new legendaries uh, into the game. Lesser potion, greater potion, superior potion, create a 1, 5, or 10 cost spell. Ooh. Very cool. Got a pretty interesting ability there. Job's done. Wow. Awesome. Wow, okay. Let's dive on into that. The mean streets of Gadget Zan, Hearthstone developers Matt Place and Jamaro Kindred dive into what makes the mean streets of Gadget Zan so mean in BlizzCon 2016. The bustling port town of Gadget Zan has ushered in a new era of trade, but the city's success has led to the unfortunate occupation by some rather unruly denizens, each with their own agendas. Crime fam families run the streets, each led by a powerful figurehead, pulling the strings of the shad from the shadows. But what made us choose Gadget Jan as Hearthstone's next expansion, and why did we give it such a nefarious twist? Nestled in the deserts of Tenaris, the uh, once landlocked goblin town of Gadget Zan was a haven for shady dealings and rule bending trade. Its locals and visitors showing no favoritism towards the Alliance nor the Horde after the Black Dragon Deathling tore apart Tenaris' landscape with his fury. Gadget Zan suddenly found itself sitting aside the sea, the lucky recipient of an expanse of new beachfront property. I don't really think it's that nice. Uh, with its new ports, trade boomed in Gadget Zan. The influx of trade stuffed the offers of those of the ground floor of the development of new Gadget Zan. Everyone who was anyone wanted a piece of the action, using all the tricks up their sleeves to get the upper hand. Organized crime developed as the power struggles began to grow in the new, in the new now bustling Gadget Zan. It was no longer the sleepy city it once was. Three distinct crime families came out of the top of the power struggle, but as of yet, there has been no clear winner. It's up to you to make new friends and perhaps a uh, few uh, new enemies, as you make a name for yourself in the mean streets of Gadget Zan. Each one of Gadget Zan's crime families are associated with three Hearthstone classes. They've introduced nine, uh, nine tri-class cards that break the rules. Each can be used by three different classes instead of just one to expand deck building possibilities and really make the theme of each class uh, crime family stand out. Each family's boss is also a legendary tri-class card. Pretty cool. So uh, there's... Uh, basically tri-class cards and what they mean by is these tri-class cards can be used by three specific classes and there's not uh, so that's basically split up into multiple classes instead of just one the grinny goons specialize in arms dealing and disorganized crime employing hunters warriors and paladins to their aid they want to be sure they come out on top and they make their de big debut on the streets and they'll make sure they enforce the goons 
way of doing things. The British ogre Don Hancho leads the Grammy goons, uh, proving two heads are buffer and better than one. So have fun, you hunters, warriors, and paladins. The Cabal's priests, warlocks, and mages excel in potion making, and they profit off the sa dude. I have a free. I'm loving it already. Profit off the sale and trade of their mysterious and potent red mana. Whether you're cooking up something to give your upper hand to the blow of your opponent, smithereens, you can never be quite sure what's the Kabbalist's potion vial. The expert mixologist and leader of the Kabbal, Kazakus, which we just saw gameplay of, can even create a custom potion for you on the fly, giving you the edge and exactly what you need. The secret arts of the Jade Lotus come to life through rogues, shamans, and druids. These mystic assassins lurk in the shadows, waiting for the next unfortunate target to walk down the wrong alley. Utilizing ancient and forbidden arts, the Jade Lotus and their mysterious leader have their own way of taking care of business, efficiently and quietly. Rumor has it they have been even greater secret just waiting to be unearthed. Each of the families associated with classes have a fun and interesting way to utilize their strengths, making the common themes still feel unique. Not all of Gadget's and citizens happy to be criminals or are aligned with the three crime families. One thing that makes Gadget's and special is that the city is an opportunity and just about anyone can move in and make a name for themselves. Extra, the Gadget's and Gazette. Let's go ahead and check it out. Gadget Zen welcomes all. Opportunities abound in bustling desert metropolis, uh, Mayor confirms. And who owns the streets? An inside look at major players in secret power struggle. The unusual suspects. Take a good look at the factions uh, vying into control of the cities. More details will be in the upcoming weeks. And there's also a couple of gameplay information. Uh, all in the family. Each class belongs to one of the city three factions. Your class cards and neutral minions all fall into the faction theme. The affiliations are the Grammy Goons for Hunter Powered and Warrior, the Cabal, uh, Mage Priest Warlock, and Jade Lotus, uh, Druid, Rogue, and Shaman. Faction specialists, aside from class affiliations, the three factions have their own unique twist and multi card class, uh, multi class cards, I should say. Some neutral minions are only available to members of their faction. For example, a Grime Street informant. A member of the Grammy Goons can only be in the uh, Hunter, Paladin, or Warrior decks. Uh, Gadgetan's most wanted. Some of Azeroth's greatest near do wells prowl the back alleys and lawless corners of Gadgetan. Step into their parlor and take a look around. I just want to say for those of you that tuned in, thank you very much for tuning in. Stay tuned for some more content brought to you by Featherwind Itachi. Have a wonderful day. Peace out, everybody.